so now let's talk about five things I don't like about living in a full runner. I think this one is a little bit, <laughs> has more, <laughs> more than five, but we'll pick five. We'll pick five. She really needs a bath. But look at this cool little area I found myself in. <laughs> Woo! first one is most definitely space. I do not have a lot of space in the Forerunner and that not only really just is a downside but it, it just it creates a lot of hurdles for us to overcome whether that's weather whether that's heat you know things like that and it's just it's so small there's nowhere to stretch in bad weather so like on good days it's perfect but when there's any type of inclement weather it is a negative. <laughs> Another downside to living in the Forerunner full time is the miles per gallon. This Forerunner is very heavy because I have fully armored my vehicle aside from the rear bumper and I have all of my things in it, including a rooftop tent and some heavy items. And that really just reduces my gas mileage and with gas prices soaring to rocket numbers, it's just really, it's just really expensive. They don't say you buy a Forerunner for the gas mileage, so I'm definitely owning up to that. But I think my gas mileage is a little bit worse than the average modified Forerunner because of the weight I'm bearing but the gas mileage is really terrible and if I were to tow <laughs> it's like seven so definitely that is a huge negative <laughs> to this lifestyle but it's not enough to stop it <laughs> And another negative would be the wear and tear that I'm doing on my vehicle. Because I live in it full time, I have a lot of things. I have dogs, we have scratches on the interior. We've done some damage, there's lots of dog hair. It's gonna, I'm gonna try to detail this out as much as possible, but like I'm doing significant wear and tear on a very expensive vehicle. So that is not something that I enjoy about this lifestyle, but I've accepted that because I live in it, these things are gonna happen and I'm just rolling with it. I don't let it stress me out too much, but it is definitely something that's a negative. Now, don't get me wrong, I absolutely love living in a Forerunner, and this experience these last two years have been wonderful, and I wouldn't trade them for anything. But with anything, I am getting a little bit burnt out of living in a Forerunner. I don't know if it's because of the space or just what the case may be. I'm just ready for something different. And I'm the kind of person that likes to experience new things in the same setting. So I wanna try different rigs. And I think that's one reason why I only lasted nine months in a truck camper. <laughs> but I don't wanna get rid of the Forerunner. I've definitely made a lot of memories in this thing. It takes me to some incredible off-road places. I'm able to go to places. I'm able to meet up with my girlfriends and go on trips together. So like the Forerunner is never going to leave me unless it's time to move on from the Forerunner and get something different. But I love Chalupa. Chalupa is my my favorite project and I just I really do enjoy living in her. It definitely has its challenges, but if you watch my, <laughs> my five things I love, I think you'll see that there are pros and cons to any lifestyle and it's really just a personal preference on what you want to do. And for me, I have really enjoyed living in a forerunner and I, I don't plan to stop, but I am finding that I need breaks more and more frequently. And I'm looking forward to some downtime spending with my family, getting off the road for a little bit and just detoxing and creating 
creating a new setup to live in the Forerunner for the next season. And I plan to experience a couple different setups and see what works and what doesn't work close to my parents' house. That way, if I need to change something, I still can. But it's definitely something that I am very prideful for. I love this experience and honestly, I would say give it a try if you want to. It's not easy, it's hard. It's hard finding places to camp. It's hard getting out of the weather sometimes. It's hard dealing with the cold, with the heat, with the the frost, with the, the snow, with the rain, you know, all of the different elements it does. It's definitely harder than an RV. And I can say that from experience. I lived in a truck camper for nine months. And I can say living in a forerunner is a lot different and it's harder. It's harder to live in a forerunner than in the truck camper, but it's rewarding. And I wouldn't trade this time for anything. And I am still loving it and we're still gonna keep doing it. So hit that subscribe button if you haven't already for more content on what it's like living in a forerunner full time with dogs. And finally, a negative to this lifestyle is definitely the fact that I am limited on my stay. So if I wanted to go on a hike or on a long-term trip or just be away from the dogs for a while, there's not a lot of room. I don't like leaving the dogs in the forerunner like that. I definitely don't leave them in the tent. Uh, I wanna make sure that they're safe and secure. So I'm very limited on going on hikes and walks and, and just leaving the dogs for a period of time. Now I do have a way to monitor them and keep an eye on them while they're in there to make sure that they're temperature controlled, but it's not foolproof. And it's still very small living quarters for them. So I don't like to keep them inside the forerunner unattended for long. They don't do damage inside, but it's definitely not ideal to leave them in the forerunner. So I'm limited on what I can do. Well, my friends, I hope you find this information insightful. If there's anything that you'd like me to elaborate on, just leave me a comment below and I will be sure to do so in an upcoming video or in the response of a comment. I'm gonna be doing a Q&A soon. So if you have any questions for me, leave me a comment, reach out to me on Instagram, on Facebook, on Patreon, and let me know your questions so that I can get those answered in an upcoming Q&A.